you're not good enough at ultrasound, that's not an excuse to punish your patients with radiation. Get out there, ultrasounds some hearts, some lungs, some IVCs, let us know how you feel about it. He either, you know, got his wrist pain by, by doing over-aggressive high-fives to your buddies. <laughs> That's a real nice review, Matt. I just want to take a couple of seconds and make a couple of points. I think you did a great job talking about the infraclavicular subclavian technique, but I just wanted to bring up the idea of the supraclavicular uh, ultrasound-guided subclavian technique. So Mike's obviously talking about a recent little itty-bitty we released. Check it out if you haven't already. On another note, you may have recently noticed that Mike's audio is about a thousand times better than mine occasionally. I know this is confusing because in real life, Mike has maybe the most annoying voice you've ever heard. So what happened is... I just discovered that I had my microphone backwards for about the last eight months. So, sorry about that. I've got nothing to add to this podcast, but just wanted to let you know I got this issue fixed. As an aside, I'm 99% sure this was Mike's fault in some way, and I'm working on figuring that out. I'll get back to you. So the supraclavicular technique has been described sort of as a pocket shot. Um, it's usually used with the uh, vascular or endocavitary probe, and the basic concept is that you basically insert the needle at the confluence of the subclavian and the IJ, basically when they form together to make the uh, brachiocephalic. And this is typically best done on the right side, uh, mostly because of the uh, angle that the brachiocephalic makes with the superior vena cava uh, and directs towards the heart. A little bit harder to do on the left side. The angle isn't quite as amendable to uh, to passing a wire, and there's also the thoracic duct that inserts onto the left side. So this is typically performed on the uh, right side of the patient's body. The supraclavicular technique can be performed by first placing the probe on the patient's IJ. Uh, so you basically start looking at the IJ as if you're about to perform an IJ, but instead you start moving the probe proximately or down towards the chest and basically angle the probe down into the patient's chest. And what you'll see is you'll see the subclavian and the IJ sort of meet um, at a at a fairly uh, fairly sharp angle, uh, and then you can often see, often see the brachiocephalic uh, then move directly uh, more away from the probe or down into the patient's chest. Uh, so when you when you perform Form it in this way when you look in the IJ uh, in short axis you'll actually see the uh, subclavian in long axis. So here's an example of what you might see. So you can see how the probe sort of just over where the patient's IJ would be, but it's almost sitting on top of the clavicle, almost sitting on top of the uh, of the patient's uh, uh, angle of the mandible. And uh, what you see here is you see the subclavian and long axis. It's about two centimeters deep, and it's a it's a really easy shot from this from this angle. It's not very deep. Uh, it's nice and big, and you can see how you're sort of aiming for right there where the subclavian sort of dives down towards the brachiocephalic. So here we have the subclavian running sort of in long axis and the brachiocephalic diving down into the patient's chest. So it's a pretty uh, pretty easy procedure. You do have to do it in long axis. There's not really enough room in this area to do it in short axis. Uh, this has also been described uh, using the endocavitary probe, where you can actually put the endocav endocavitary probe in the supraclavicular fossa, sort of right up next to the clavicle and to the sternocleidomastoid muscle, and uh, sort of point down into the chest, just like you would with the vascular probe. And you'll see in the same in the same manner, you'll see the IJ and the subclavian uh, form together to make the anominate. Uh, keep in mind there is a, a valve there where the subclavian and the IJ uh, connect together, which you'll often see on ultrasound. Not Nothing to worry about, though. You can pass a catheter straight through that area. Uh, there was actually a, a recent soundbite case by uh, Phil Pereira uh, on supraclavicular subclavian vein cannulation. I thought he did a great job with this. It's about 13 minutes long, so you should definitely check that out if, check that out if you're interested in doing more supraclavicular subclavian ultrasound-guided uh, procedures. All right, thanks. Thanks, Mike. I really got nothing to add to that other than this. The next two people who register for CastleFest 2013 will get to place a supraclavicular line in Mike. Thanks for volunteering, buddy. Hey, guys, before we go, I want to mention one other thing. You've probably already heard about it, but if you haven't, I want to tell you about the Global Medical Education Project. It's pretty sweet. It's an incredible way, basically, to get way smarter, way quicker. It was developed by the Life in the Fast Lane guys, Mike Cadogan, Chris Nixon, and all those fellas over there. And you can find it at gmep.org. You go to this site, you sign up, you connect with other providers, and uh, if you like Facebook, it's basically going to be like the Facebook for medicine. If you don't like Facebook, it's uh, Twitter, Google+, whatever you use. It's a pretty cool tool. You could upload questions, answer questions, upload media, ask questions related to that media. A lot of learning is going to happen at this site. Mike and I are both really pumped to use it. It's in beta right now, but every time I go back, it's better and better, and they're going to be live very soon. So sign up now, get on board, register for Castle Fest. We hope to see you guys virtually on gmep.org and live at the castle. Thanks.
not good enough at ultrasound, that's not an excuse to punish your patients with radiation. Get out there, ultrasound some hearts, some lungs, some IVCs, let us know how you feel about it.